Hey gamers, it's Grind This Game here. Back with Stardew Valley. We're 70, almost 77 hours into this playthrough, uh, which is pretty crazy. Been enjoying this game. This footage is actually from April 4th, and I think it's around May 10th, 11th now by the time you're watching this. I've been pretty busy at work, so I haven't been getting much time to do editing and stuff, but this episode we're going to be exploring the, um, the islands that we found. I think last episode, get some crab cakes in us so we can run faster. Let's talk to Leo here. What's he got? Oh, he's sad again today. Let me be sad. Oh, poor little guy. He wants to be a bird, but he also wants to be a boy. So last episode we unlocked the, uh, well not unlocked, but we uh, noticed that this is going to be like another farm that we can build out. We need 20 golden walnuts to uh, get that building unlocked. So we're going to grow some stuff here because it's sunny here year round, which is kind of a big advantage. Don't have to worry about winter here. Um, we do have to keep our crops watered, though. So we'll be heading off, trying to find all these secret hidden golden walnuts, because we're going to need 20 of them. And there's quite a few little hidden passages and places that we need to dig up. Now, we'll eventually unlock these, but I think I'm going to unlock the, uh, the new farmhouse first. There's a Professor Snail is here this time. We rescued him from a cave uh, last episode. He's got to catch up on his work. We're going to help him out, though. In the bone business. <laughs> Okay, we gotta go look for some bones for him. And we have some already that we found. So it looks like we can use two legs. We need the snake stuff, we need to go find some bat stuff, a frog one. There is a bone digging place uh, just next to the professor's nail. Okay, what's this guy saying? He's giving us a clue. We're in Leo's little uh, fort. I'm gonna call it a tree fort. So we're gonna be looking for golden walnuts, walnuts here. There's supposed to be some in these muscle rocks, but I think it's random. We'll see if we get lucky here. No luck. No luck this time, but we'll be back when they regenerate. We'll see if we can fish up some new fish here. It's a new island. There should be new fish. Oh, we got a golden walnut. Okay, so you can fish walnuts. Oh, we got a snake skull. That'll help out. To take that to Professor Snail. Okay, we got another walnut. Mm -hmm. I had a fish this time. What kind will it be? It is a lionfish. Moving on. Looking for secrets. Looking for secret passages. There is a little walkway up here. Oh. What do we got here? Some sort of puzzle. With cute little bird statues. When dark clouds cry, begin your quest. Seek the, f the fabled gem birds. Okay, I think that means when it rains, so we'll have to wait for a rainy day. 
think there's a way in here. This looks like there's a little path here. Uh-huh. Inside the ship. Kind of wish the interior was a little bit bigger, but... And this little guy. I gotta go see him. We're gonna try to cover him with some, uh... Some wooden signs. Eventually. But maybe not yet. Oh, X marks the spot. I think I already dug in here, but let's... Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, there's a pattern over there. Aha. Uh -huh. Whenever we see a pattern, or an X. I mean, the X one was pretty obvious. Let's get some wood. Maybe get some coconuts along the way. Oh. That is a golden coconut. Have to go. Go to Clint and get that broken open at some point. We're back. Okay, we need a tail. We got the frog done. Got some extra heads. We'll probably throw those away at some point. You've undone, undone yourself. Outdone yourself, not undone yourself. Skipping ahead here, we had another quest related to the uh, wizard's ex-wife, the witch. We had to go into the sewers and get the dark talisman. That's what unlocked this door. So we're going to see what's inside here. Some sort of teleporter. And we're, on, we're in some kind of swamp. Who's this guy? The henchman. You want to pass? I'm sorry. This private property. Hmm. We gotta, we gotta get him, uh, probably have to get him something. But let's get that, uh, golden coconut opened. Seems like a good time to remind you guys, if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. I do hope to get my uh, posting schedule back to a higher frequency soon. It's been kind of weekly recently, but I want to get back to uh, two or three times a week at least. As much as I love Stardew Valley, um, for every in the late game, for every like 40 hours of footage, there's like one hour of content. There's so much grinding. So before I get everything completed, I will probably take a break from the game, grind away at it, and then eventually do some final episodes. But I think I'm going to do a Rim World, Rim, Rim World series. Because I've been missing that game. And I've never played the expansion. There's a... It's an expansion that I've never yet tried, so we'll probably be doing that. Okay, he's got some rewards. Oh, some more golden walnuts. Okay, 15. We need five more. Give us a hint, man. If you did some panning. Okay. Skipping ahead here. A little cutscene. We're back in town. Catching a little jam session here. What kind of music do you like? Hmm. None of these, but we'll, we'll say experimental. Wow, they're going to listen to me, in my opinion, in music. They're crazy. I 
I'm sure they'll be successful. Uh, I don't think I'll be volunteering in the drum department. Now this was from the old hag on the island. She gave us a photo. And we're heading into Kent. And he seems to recognize it. And he's giving us some gourmet tomato tomato salt. Tomato salt? Tomato salt? Now there's some footage that I missed where I uh, turned that tomato soup into Gus. We got a little bit of a puzzle here. We're back on the island. Jumping around a bit here. This is actually the edited version. This thing took me took me a while because I kept I, I kept misclicking things. And near the end, it gets more. I wouldn't say more complicated, but longer sequences. It's a memory game. Memory game for an old man. It's easier when it sounds like a musical tune. When it's kind of random notes, it's uh, a little bit tougher. Well, we got it. Not quite sure. I think that was four. Ah, my ears. This is my celebration. <laughs> we'll have to tune, tune the volume out on that one. Okay, we're not gonna waste our golden walnut walnuts on that guy yet. We wanna get the, the building unlocked so we can sleep on the island. Otherwise, we have to go back all the way. Oh, that was another secret one. So we got 20 now. We can unlock it. Oh, there's probably one here yet. Yeah, 21. There might be one here. Nope. Yeah, if we don't have the building unlocked, we have to run, take the boat all the way back every night. I guess we could pass out here, but um, I'd rather get this building unlocked. Sleep hut. There they go, they're such good builders. Let's check this place out. Pretty empty. I think we're gonna have to uh, furnish it at some point. Nice that they give you a little kitchen and a little bed though. We'll have to move the bed towards the door so we don't have to run all the way over. No food in the uh, good old fridge yet, we'll have to stock that. But we got a stove here, which is nice. Okay, and we're gonna plant some, some trees here for some hardwood. And we're back on the mainland. We got a crop co coming in here of ancient fruit. Let's rip, we'll rip through this. This is going to be our cash crop for a while. And we're going to turn it into wine. Also got some fruit coming in. Skipping ahead, it's winter again. And some of our little fishies want some stuff. The eels are asking for a redeem bar, so we'll toss that in. They look very happy. Get some row seasoned in there. Okay, they wanted green tea. It took me a while to get the green tea going. But the blobfish, he's, they seem happy. Let's check out our slime hutch here. Oh, they've been busy. They've been very busy. 
Now they can't get out. They're actually behind the door even though it looks like they're... It looks like they're on the other side of the door, but they're not. They're stuck in there. And because I put tiles on the inside, it forces the slime to form outside. Little tip I saw, I think on YouTube. Okay, this rose we got from Gus when we handed him the tomato soup. So this is the old hag, the old hag quest. And she's given us a remote. And we know George watches a lot of TV. So we're gonna try to see if he likes it. Yeah, okay, so he gave us a stone. Arctic shard. We're gonna probably take that over to Clint and see if this is for him. Oh, it's a magical stone. Okay, so he doesn't want it. Off to the wizard. Editing out all the travel in between. Okay, he wants this, I think. What do we get? We got a wriggling worm. I think I know who's gonna want this. Oh, we got a cutscene. Clint is hiding in a bush. Like some kind of weirdo. If I recall, I think last episode I was hiding in a bush. So, I can't really blame him for being a weirdo. He's got the hots for Emily. Maybe he'll uh, get the courage to ask her at this time. Go, buddy. You got this. Oh, Emily. Will you go out with me? I'm a really nice guy. I smell a little funny, but I'm a nice guy. Look at his eyes. <laughs> he did it. He's blushing. Looks like he's on acid. Oh, they're both happy. Oh, it's a match made in heaven. Blue hair meets Smith. Well done, buddy. You got it. This fish, or this uh, worm. We're gonna give this to Willie. He likes to fish. And we got the pirate's locket. Okay, I think that might be the last thing in the chain. But I did get a clue about being here at noon. Behind the playground. And we got a little bit of a decoration out of that. It had to be exactly at noon in the bush, so. Here we are. Let's turn in that uh, skull locket. Locket. Let's see what she says. I've been calling her the old hag. It's probably uh, a little bit mean. I should call her just the old woman. The old hag is the witch. Stinky locket. Hmm. She's like uh, the guy in Castaway, stuck on the island. Except no volleyball in sight. She likes it though. Oh, 
monkey meat. Nasty. She was just kidding, though. Coconut surprise? Fairy dust. Okay. Yeah, we're all about helping the old ladies. Everyone's happy. Spirits are restless. Uh oh. Oh, she has a name. Birdie. I've been uh, calling her old lady. Old egg. We're back at home. We haven't slept in our home bed in a while here. Day 28 of winter. Year 2. You know what? It's year 3. Spring has sprung. And Grandpa's ghost is visiting us. He's been here all along, watching over us. Oh, Grandpa. Why are you blue? I guess because you're a ghost. Floating in the sky. I think this is the evaluation stage. It's going to give us some kind of score, I think. And he can rest peacefully now. Bye, Grandpa. It's brand new day, brand new month, brand new year. Ooh, had some good times last night. Maybe we'll make another baby. Grandpa's Shrine. Let's go, uh, we'll go t check that out. Got a lot of wine coming in here. The farm is a mess again. <laughs> I did read that you can get an item called the Golden Clock. Which will make it so that weeds don't grow anymore. Oh, we got a Statue of Perfection. We got four candles lit. I think that means we did our good job. Our animals are not happy. I think uh, I haven't been feeding them. Or petting them enough. Oh, he's got five hearts. There's a little baby wriggling around like a bean. Skipping ahead. Our animals are, are loose. Uh, I did have them penned in at one point. Do some speed chopping here. But they broke through the fences. They were made out of wood. I think next time I'll make them out of iron. The farm is a complete mess. I'll clean things up here. Do some weeding. That golden clock though. It, uh, I think it costs 10 million gold. So it's going to take a lot of uh, ancient fruit wine and other stuff to raise that kind of money. But we'll do it. We'll get it done. Now that we have two farms, we can get ancient fruit growing year-round on the new island farm. And we can grow stuff on this farm. We can grow in the greenhouse. We can really scale things up. I think we're going to plant some strawberries here. Speed farming. And no better way to chop down trees than with bombs. Environmentally friendly. I'm a bomb lumberjack. Got that all cleared out.
Time for a sleep. Oh, cutscene. Oh. Yeah, when we finished the community center a while ago. Um, I think that kicked off that that event. So we're gonna have to go check out the old Jojo Mart. See what's going on there. Got some crops coming in here on, on the island though. And we got some more weeding to do. It was clear. Gonna get these crops going here. I'll eventually replace these with iridium sprinklers, but for now, we'll use the uh, standard ones because we got a bunch of them. The scarecrow is not needed on the island, I don't think. It's more for show. I don't think there's any uh, birds. Okay, finally we can cover this guy up. He's so cute, he's got sunglasses and always shaking his head. We'll get him though. Let's make uh, some fences. Cheap. Cover him up. Hee <laughs> hee. Nowhere to hide, buddy. I don't want to kill him, but I have to. Such a violent game. <laughs> Senseless violence against the wildlife. Get ancient fruits growing. And we're back in the farm. I'm gonna put some slime presses in. Start making slime eggs out of all this excess slime that we're uh, building up here. They take a hundred slime per per use. So we'll probably have to make a few more of those, get through all that slime backlog. Now we're putting grass down and then lightning rods. This is some kind of trick where the grass will continue to grow, but the lightning rods will prevent the uh, animals from eating it. Gonna move some stuff around here. We're gonna move the silo, make some room. Gonna move the greenhouse over, I think. Try to get a little bit more organized here. Stick that right there. And we're putting in another one of those, or I mean moving it. Slime hutch I think I'll just leave there. But I'm going to build a couple upgraded sheds. One to start. And this is where we're going to eventually put all our barrels. Because the footprint of the building is pretty small, but inside is bigger. It's kind of like uh, free space. So we can fit at least two sheds here. But it's not open yet, so we'll put our bar barrels outside for now. We'll do a few rounds of uh, ancient fruit wine out here first. And then once the building is fully upgraded, we'll move these barrels inside. And we're probably going to need more to fit them all in. But this is the beginning of the Cash Empire. The Ancient Fruit Empire. Okay, skipping it here. We're gonna upgrade the shed. It's all built. Get some more space in there. And there's this little cave here by the island hut. This, uh... This cool sounding frog. The land once teemed with fresh, fresh food. The big, the pink thing, the juicy thing. Okay, we're gonna grow some big pink juicy things for him. <laughs> I think he means melons. Oh, cutscene. What's going on here? We found Pierre's secret stash. Oh, stash of what? I'm gonna guess it's his um, special oregano.
or some extracurricular reading. <laughs> Who knows? I'm sure it's not good. <laughs> Here seems like a little bit of a pothead, so that's my guess. Okay, this guy wanted um, void mayonnaise, and yeah, I looked it up. You found the wizard lost magic ink. What are these creepy things? Your children will turn into doves and fly away. Ooh. No thanks. I guess if we ever want to get rid of our children, we just bring them here and turn them into birds. Uh, we can remove the magic seal if we give this thing a strange bun. I don't want animals attacking at night, so we're not going to do that. You found my ink. see the x-wipe. Yeah, we did see her flying through the air. Yeah, what do we get here? A book. A book of summoning. Summon magic buildings directly to your farm. Okay. Sounds handy. Okay, what can we summon? A Junimo hut. We need star fruit, fiber, and stone. We can, uh, and 20 grand. We got that. We'll have to come back. But first we gotta plant the melons for the frog dude. The big juicy pink things. Get this farm cleaned up a bit. Got a bit of a secret note there. There's some kind of some kind of hidden stuff in here. Here we got some fish tackle. Inventory's looking a bit full. And there's a secret tunnel up here with another golden walnut. A lot of golden walnuts hidden around. And here is another one. Okay, let's, uh, let's unlock this. The Parrot Express. I think this is going to let us teleport around the island somehow. Off to the volcano. Oh, cool. It's like a little... Like a balloon powered by bear parrots. <laughs> Into the mouth we go. And this guy will build the bridge for us, so yeah, let's unlock that. Finally got some iridium quality wine. It took a very long time. It has to go to silver and then to gold and then to iridium. But we're gonna make some big bank with this. And let's see. We'll sell it and see what it sells for the next morning. Okay, what do we got here? 
4,600 per bottle. Ooh. Good times. Fat stacks. Lots of cashola. Big money, big money. We love it. Yeah, that was fast. Okay, we got an upgraded building here. Let's fill it with barrels. Gonna try to maximize the space here. Fill her up. And I've been upgrading all my tools to Iridium. Bit of a cutscene here with Alex. And his dog. I don't think I've actually seen the dog before. There we are hiding in bushes again. Everything. Oh, father was an ass. The drinker. Maybe his father is secretly Clint. Or maybe Pam was a man before, because Pam's a drunk. And Pam is actually Alex's father. Could be. You will get no sympathy from me, sir. He's happy. <laughs> Throw him that steak. <laughs> throw it! Oh, he didn't throw it. What a meanie. What's going on here? A little bit of fairy music. Abigail's fluting it up. In the rain. We're hiding in the bush as well, as always. Hello. Oh, sorry. I can buzz off. Flirting with us? She's such a poet. <laughs> Is that a harp? Got a mini harp in our pocket. And we're happy to see you. <laughs> Make a little duet here. Gotta love the little moments in the game like this. Back on the island. Uh, yeah, this sign asks you about number of flowers and then the number of starfish. You 
can technically go around the island and look, but I'm just going to be guessing numbers. I think I guessed wrong here. But we got another little secret passage here. And we're back at Jojo Mart. Which has the missing bundle. We need ancient fruit, gold ancient fruit, uh, caviar, void salmon. And we're back with a few of these ingredients. Stuff we had stocked away. We got the wine, silver wine. We'll have to uh, collect up some of the other stuff. And we got another cutscene here. What's going on? Healy, come here, quick. Bracelet is missing. It's in the sand somewhere. We'll find it. We could be uh, insensitive and say we'll just buy our new one, but let's try to find it instead because we're cheap. What's oh, sentimental? Okay. Let's go looking for it. It's got to be here somewhere. I think I spy with my little eye something that is around. That was too easy. They should have buried it or something. We found it. She's so happy. Oh? Do we get a free kiss? Oh, she's blushing. No kiss. Okay, we guessed another number here. We guessed right. Got some golden nuts. And we got a few more things to donate here. A flute. A uh, funky, funky gem. And that one looks like an old tire. <laughs> we get the burnt offering. That sounds uh, not so exciting. And a flute block. Quality mother daughter time here. Rebellious teenager, Abigail. She looks angry. Mother has green hair, daughter has purple hair. Look at that. We're always, we're such a creeper. We're just like, it's creepy how creepy we are. Always hiding in bushes and around corners. Burp. We grew the pink thing for him. Oh, he's out. He's got a cane. Bumble pink. Take a take a bite. Go go for it. You deserve it. You're like a hundred years old. More nuts. He wants us to grow the longo yellow ticklin thing. I think that will be wheat by the sounds of it. Build trading hut. Okay. We're gonna do it. The 3D printer called Parrots. 
This guy's cute. <laughs> He's waving. What can we buy here? Warp totem, that's kind of useful. We need uh, taro tubers for that. But we can get taro tuber seeds for bones. Pineapple seeds. Gold and coconuts we can buy for coconuts. Okay. Tropical TV. There's some cool stuff in here. Banana sapling. We need bananas. Uh, we need five dragon tooth teeth. Sounds expensive. I think I've only found a couple of those teeth so far. We'll, we'll get some of these puddings. Now I grew some uh, wheat off camera for this guy. Bumbo tickling. <laughs> this guy's uh, pretty funny. He's gonna tickle us. More, more, uh, nuts. Okay, what does he want here next time? Zesty ground fruit. What? Make the breath stink. Okay, I think he wants garlic this time. But uh, in the previous episode, I think, we we hired Robin. I don't know if it was in the last episode or whether I left it out, but we basically paid a bunch of money to get Pam's house built. And she's finally done. This replaces the old uh, Airstream trailer that uh, Pam was living in with her daughter. Let's see if she likes it. Uh, we'll take credit for it. Why not? <laughs> Dream come true. She doesn't look very happy, though. Oh, she's bawling her eyes out. Just had to sell a few melons. No problem. Yeah, start treating Penny better and drinking less. That's the advice we'll give. We'll guilt trip her. Single mom raising her raising her daughter. Will she really turn her life around? I guess we'll find out. It's been a while, let's check up on how things are going here. So dirty in here. I don't think Pam has been uh, helping out much. This cutscene might have might have been uh, belonging in sequence before the motorhome thing gets upgraded. Not quite sure. Uh oh, Pam's back. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? She doesn't look happy. We're just trying to help. She's been drinking. She's 
gonna explode. I put a roof over your head. Actually, we put the roof over your head. Should we get involved? No, we'll walk away. We'll walk away. She's ashamed. And another cutscene. See, sometimes I don't visit these buildings often enough, and all these cutscenes get uh, stacked up. Okay, she's got a new recipe going on here. she gonna make? Looked like some kind of salad. Oh. Uh, we'll be, um, we'll be kind. <laughs> she went to the effort to make it, so... Let's watch a movie. Okay, we're gonna OD on coffee here. Coffee makes you run faster, so we got the cash. Keep a good supply of coffee, so we can always run a little bit faster. It stacks with the horse as well, so it's worthwhile. Still got a few more pieces to, to go here, but we'll eventually get that completed. The uh, island farm is coming along. We're upgrading it to the iridium sprinklers. We get some high density ancient fruit going here. And we grew some garlic for the toad dude. He never wants to eat our food. He tells us to grow it. And then he doesn't want it. Got a few more golden uh, walnuts there. Okay, I think uh, we're done with him. I think we've grown everything he wants. Can we fish, can we fish in here? Anything? We got some trash! And some more trash. Well, this has been a very long episode. Um, it was many, many, many hours of footage that went into this one. But we got a lot of progress done. Still more to do. Got to raise a bunch of money to buy a bunch of high-priced items. There may be a bit of a delay between this episode and the next. I might start the RimWorld series. But I'll eventually get some more episodes out for this one because we got another 40 hours of footage that I need to edit down. But I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. And we'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.